The announcement made on Saturday by President Macky Sall concerning the postponement of the presidential vote scheduled for February 25th has caused an uproar in Senegal. Although Senegal has experienced violent unrest during previous elections, this is the first time a presidential election has been postponed, plunging the country into total uncertainty. Scattered criticism of the government and the president's decision has multiplied on social networks. President Macky Sall will go down as the first president to violate the Republican calendar, tweeted engineer and writer Farin Dao, adding that it was an insult to the Senegalese people. The opposition's denunciation of the violation of the electoral calendar was immediate. Following the commission of inquiry, the proposed law to postpone the presidential elections for a maximum period of six months is due to be voted in the National Assembly on Monday. People were ready to vote to make a difference. The opposition categorically rejects many postponement of the elections and any participation in the national dialogue forming a united front. So far, no new date has been set for the elections, which has heightened fears of a power grab. Senegal, usually celebrated for its democratic tradition in a sub-regional context that has been plushed by the succession of coup d'etat, is going through an unprecedented crisis that could shake its stability. The same wind of change that have been blowing through Francophone West Africa in recent years are now blowing through Senegal even if they do not take the form of a military coup. In view of Senegal's considerable economic and diplomatic weight, the situation in the country risks further weakening echoes at a time when Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger announced their withdrawal from the organization on January 28. Like the United States and the European Union, ECOWAS expressed its deep concern and urged the authorities to accelerate the various processes to set a new election date.